So I have now lived in the Netherlands for three weeks. The excitement of being in a new place has wavered a bit and I have felt unbalanced, like I'm not aligned with myself. And I think it's because everything in my life is up in the air. I've gotten down a pretty nice morning routine though, which helps to ground me in this turbulent time of my life. It feels good to go for a short walk in the morning, to breathe fresh air, I honestly had such a hard time getting back to a routine with yoga after traveling and felt more and more guilty about it, like I was losing everything I have learned. 10 minutes of yoga has felt doable and I'm really glad to be back on my mat. For the longest time I have wanted to get into meditation and now have tried to do a 5 minute guided meditation every morning. I can already feel the tiniest shift in my mind. My absolute favorite moment of the day is making the first coffee. This ritual feels almost sacred. We just got a delivery. Okay, I should not sing. Um, we got a sofa. Ideally, obviously, I would have wanted to get a second-hand sofa. I was looking on Facebook Marketplace, but there wasn't anything. Um, actually, there was one sofa that was yellow, and it was so, so cute and different. But I messaged the owner or the seller, and they just never answered me. So I kind of gave up pretty quickly, to be honest. But I just really want the sofa because that like makes the home for me. It's where I relax, you know, watch YouTube and stuff. We also have been visiting the second hand shop near us really frequently, but the sofas there are just quite gross to be honest. So yeah, I kind of gave him and we bought a new one. Um, it's not necessarily the color that I would want it to be. Like I feel like all the sofas new are just gray like always, I don't know why, um, and then the super super expensive ones, they maybe have some variables in color, but this is gray as well. This was actually like the cheapest one we found online, so fingers crossed it's good. I'm like super hungry because I was waiting for the delivery and I didn't eat lunch yet, but uh, I thought that maybe I would assemble the sofa before I eat. I don't know, this might be a really, really bad idea. Okay, it's actually pretty straightforward, but I'm just starving, so I'm going on lunch break. And I have the season final of Too Hot to Handle, the season two. I watched the first season of Too Hot to Handle as a joke when Miss Rona came and now I kind of started watching it again, so... <laughs> oh no... Friday, I am going to the second hand shop again. The staff is probably gonna be like, why are you here again? Please leave. But I really want to buy a bike now. I really need it now, actually, because today it's Friday and when Matti comes from work, we are going to cycle to Eindhoven, hopefully. <laughs> I have a bike by then and go to the beer garden. Beer, beer garden. I don't know how you say it in Dutch. Beer garden opening. That is today. The weather looks so sunny and summery. Yeah, the only thing basically that I need is a bike because we could take the train, but it's a bit inconvenient because the time that it takes to walk to the train station is the time that we could just cycle to Eindhoven. So fingers crossed that I find the bike. I'm gonna take my skateboard. So let's listen to some cute tunes and let's go. I 
is 85 euros but it's in really good condition i feel like this is not very cute but um oh well also did i show this yesterday so this is the finished product i quite like it actually it looks to be quite close to the tv to be honest but we will figure it out when i find my desk that's my yoga mat because i did yoga this morning again i have gotten back to yoga i'm so happy about it because i had a bit of a I don't know, hard time getting back to it, but now I have done yoga five days in a row, just 10 minutes uh, in the morning, but today I did 45 minutes, so yes. Right, so I finished my freelance work for the week. It is Friday, it is sunny, Matt is coming from work in like 30 minutes, so I really need to get ready. I thought that for once in my life I would surprise Matt the NP ready in time but i think he's gonna be here in 15 minutes and uh i don't know i know what i'm gonna wear but i don't know what to do with my hair and yeah definitely don't take any makeup advice from me i mean i'm sure you didn't think to take any um anyway um i don't know what i'm doing okay <laughs> he's not even here yet and I have my clothes on, <laughs> as you can see. I don't know what to do with my hair. <sighs> Let me think. Maybe just some hair clips. I really, really want to learn to do some hairstyles this year. Oh, that's pulling my hair. It's not going well. Why is this pulling my hair? Oh, I hate it. Oh, I don't know. This will have to do. Just some almond oil on the ends of my hair. And I haven't even had my third coffee today. And some people might say two coffees is enough. I might say, leave me alone. I'm not really sure about this hair clip situation. Okay, now I can see why it's pulling my hair. Like this bit sticks to my hair. Oh, like my hair is stuck. I like literally can't get this clip out of my hair now. Oh my god, do I have to cut the hair? I can't believe this. Like so much of my hair as well is in there, so I don't really want to cut this. Ugh. Ow! Okay, these clips done, I guess. So I decided to put these butterfly clips on that I bought recently. So I'm ready. But Matti just texted me that there's an insane traffic jam going on, so... Well, I could have had my coffee after all, but I guess it's good I'm ready for once. <laughs> Yes, I'm going to the gym soon, but I have to eat a snack before I go So I thought I would show you my favorite snack. I also have a pimple um, Because even though I'm 29 the hormonal acne just doesn't want to let me go Anyway, so what you will need special flakes, which are accidentally vegan. They have chocolate, which is vegan in them Delicious the cheapest muesli you could find in a store and then these I don't know what these are. Okay, maybe it's spelt um, I've never eaten this before. Protein powder. This is hemp protein powder and it is brownie flavor. An apple. Soy yogurt in this huge tub. Peanut butter in an equally huge tub. And soy milk. Hello and welcome to this extremely weird angle of me. Soy yogurt. Smack it in there. Protein powder. Mix it. Add all the toppings. Cut the apple. Maybe eat this because it doesn't fit in the bowl. Add the apple in the bowl. This step is weird and optional because I like to add soy milk in the yogurt to make it more moist. I don't like it when it's dry, so... 
I know it's weird. So don't do this. Last step is to drizzle some peanut butter on it. And here, the finished product. Full of protein, full of fiber. It has a fruit in there. The best thing of being an adult is that you can eat chocolate cereal as a snack and nobody can stop you. So here I'm just finishing work while I'm finishing the incredible snack that I made. And then I completely forgot to film at the gym. So here are some other clips that I filmed another day. I'm still doing Nata Sauceanes move program that has really given me a nice routine and something to work towards. Hello, it's Thursday. I'm going to town today, so I'm wondering if this outfit makes any sense? Um, or do I just look crazy? Also this hairstyle. I can never do this hairstyle. How does it look? Okay, I really need to go. I have... I wanted to go like an hour ago, but I just like oh, procrastinated for so long. But now I need to go because I need to buy so many things actually. Uh, we are going to a wedding this summer, so I need shoes for that. Um, it's not necessarily that I need to buy them now, I still have a few weeks, but I would like to do it in advance and not be hurried. Then I need to buy a few food bits like soy sauce, sesame oil. Uh, sriracha, like big bottles of those because we can't find them in the stores near us so maybe if I find like an Asian market that would be great I need a lock for my bike because I only have the lock that's attached to the bike which is not very safe and I kind of want to buy a book I just made like a summer TBR it is the 1st of June today guys so I'm really excited for a summer full of reading I just finished a book yesterday the summer switch off I kind of, I was in a reading slump, so I just wanted something really light and easy, so that was just that, it was super light and easy. <laughs> My summer TBR is 11 books, only fantasy and two sci-fi books, <laughs> so that basically sums it up. But I just really want to enjoy the reading this summer, I want to be really immersed in the fantasy worlds, I don't know, I'm super excited. And it's nice weather again, but what is this outfit? I just have to go with it because otherwise I will never leave this house. One thing that I love in the Netherlands is how easy cycling to anywhere is. Now that I have my bike, I feel free to go anywhere. So I wandered around the center appreciating the summer air and I spotted this super cute Swan family. Eindhoven seems to be so chill, everyone was just enjoying the sun. I checked out a few secondhand shops trying to find shoes to go with my dress. I didn't have any luck this time though. Then I went to this incredible bookstore where the whole second floor is English books. I spotted these stunning editions of Six of Crows. Also, I have lately had this urge to reread The Hunger Games because I'm seeing them everywhere. But I didn't buy them or any of these books, even though they were on my summer TBR, simply because they were quite expensive and I would have loved to buy them secondhand if possible. That's why I also went to this secondhand bookstore, but they had a very limited section in English. back in the same place. A successful trip. We got sriracha. It's not the biggest bottle. I would have wanted a bigger one, but like in the nearby stores here, you can only get the small ones. So that's an upgrade. Found some tahini. I'm gonna make butternut squash salad uh, for dinner. So this is for the sauce. Sesame oil, because we have the best recipe. Fried rice bean burritos. I don't know how we came up with this recipe with Monty, but um, so we fried the rice in sesame oil and it tasted so heavenly. I have to share the recipe for that sometime. It's my favorite food. Anyway, well, this is a bit stupid, but I also found from the Asian store they sold monsters and Mate is an energy drink drinker. I don't, I, no, never. You couldn't pay me enough to drink this, but you can't really find energy drinks here, at least the bigger ones, so I bought him one because I'm a great girlfriend. I found fairy lights, I, so I went to Tiger, or it's Flying Tiger these days, but I went there and I saw these for 10 euros and then I went to Action afterwards 
uh, because I was looking for a bike lock and I saw this cheaper there so it was a bit of a fail also I've been looking for this kind of hairbrush for ages but they're always the bristles are always made out of animal fur or like animal hair uh, usually like big hair so I just want this to do this kind of hairstyle so it's perfect for that and when my hair is greasy I can use this so finally I found this um, and this is made out of plastic because I was watching Too Hot to Handle recently and one of the girls had like this really cool style with eyeliner and I haven't had eyeliner in years I think so I found this Essence is cruelty free and some of their products are vegan I would say most of them and this was I feel like I have shopped so much these past few weeks like I've been buying so much stuff it's really stressing me out I really don't like it but also because we moved, it's kind of necessary. Mm -hmm.